Hello friends. In this video, we will learn about the linear magnification of convex mirror. Now, linear magnification is defined as the ratio of height of image to the height of object and it can be represented as by small m and small m is say h dash upon h where h dash is the height of image and h is the height of object. Now the diagram which we are seeing, the ray diagram is the same ray diagram which we have used for the derivation of the mirror formula for the convex mirror. We are using the same ray diagram over here. Okay, now let's proceed. Now again if you see over here, a, B, P and A dash, B dash, P. These two triangles, triangle A, B, P and A dash, B dash, P. These are similar triangles. Okay. Since this angle is 90, this angle is 90, this angle equals to this since I equals to R and these two are vertically opposite angles. So this and this angle that is angle A, P, B and angle A dash, P, P dash. This will be same. So <coughs> we can write a b p equals to a dash b dash p sorry similar to a dash b dash p and if I take the ratios of the sides that is a dash b dash upon a b this can be written as p b dash upon p b. Now here p b dash is obviously b which is the image distance and PV over here is U, which is the object distance. Fine. Now, if I substitute the values of U and V in this expression along with obviously H dash and H, that is the height of the image and height of the object, then I can rewrite this expression as H dash upon H equals to, instead of the PV dash, I will write V. And instead of PB, I will write U. Okay? But this expression is incomplete without a proper sign convention. So what we need to do over here is, we need to do the sign convention. So V over here will be what? It will be positive. Since we are measuring the distance V in the direction of the instant light, so V will be positive u will be negative because in order to measure u we have to go opposite to the direction of the instant ray okay now what about h dash and h h dash over here will be positive because image is getting formed above the principal axis so anything vertically which we measure above the principal axis is positive and anything which we measure vertically below the principal axis is negative so over here both h dash and h both are above the principal axis so both these terms will be positive okay now we know that m is what h dash upon h that is h dash upon h will be what it will be m and this can be written as what plus v upon minus u which is nothing but minus v upon u so this expression gives us the first formula of magnification in terms of V and U. Obviously, with the other formula which we have is the H dash upon H, but this is a formula in terms of V and U. Okay? Now, we also know the mirror formula. The mirror formula says what? 1 upon F equals to 1 upon V plus 1 upon U. Or I can write 1 upon U equals to 1 upon F minus 1 upon v. So if I substitute the value of 1 upon u in this in this formula or in this expression, what I get? m equals to minus v, 1 upon f minus 1 upon v. Now when I multiply v inside, I get 1 minus v upon f. So this is another formula which we have got for the magnification in terms of v as well as f. We can also write the magnification formula in terms of u and f. The way we have written it in terms of v and f, the similarly we can write it in terms of u and f. Now for that what we have to do is, we need to know the value of v in terms of f and u. So for that simply we can use the mirror formula. So from the mirror formula I can write 
1 upon b equals to 1 upon f minus 1 upon u or I can write v equals to uf upon u minus f. When I solve this, I get v equals to uf upon u minus f. Now, simply if I replace or the value of v of the magnification formula of minus v by u with this term, I get m equals to minus f upon u minus f because what will happen this u and this u will cancel and finally I get this formula for the magnification. So for the magnification I get four formulas, four different formulas. The first basic formula is h dash upon h, another one is minus v upon u, another one is minus v upon f and the fourth one is minus f upon u minus f or f upon f minus u.